Hello everyone and welcome to the month of December. Guys, I'm a little couple days late on this video, but I thought I'd go ahead and kick it out there for you because I always do this anyway. These are our PlayStation Plus freebies this month. The first one on our list is Stories, The Path of Destinies. So before we get into this thing, guys, I want to thank you for your support. And as always, let's kick this bitch. As we open the book. Now, I, I did start to play a little bit. Once upon I want, a time, I, oh. the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the Emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. But then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages. And no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. Alright, so there's our storyline so far. Apparently this this kid's mom makes him make a promise and that he won't die of the gallows and then he's supposed to take care of this other kid who steals a book and is run away from ravens. Okay. I take one thing I don't like so far, guys, is the loading screen. The kid was looking down. Watching his city burn. Sorry, kid. Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to run after him. Okay, Renato, let's go. We're gonna run after him. Protect Peter. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. Oh shit. Some health here, fools. A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they Great. Noticed him. The kid. Well, those ravens are gonna be falling out of the sky. Hold it. L to aim. Release and throw. Oh, I'm gonna throw his ass off. There he goes. The Gate of Heroes. 
Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. I know how to get there. you through. Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? Maybe down here in the damn trunk? Or and wind essence? Perfect. A hero sword. QED. Where's a little rabbit bastard at? This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook, and she'd laughed at Bernardo's jokes, even when he didn't know who'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter. Giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Cute, said Renardo. Ah, oh, ravens. Great. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Maybe he'd done it. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Okay. to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eye beam. Cut it in half. Was the kid? The at? book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and a kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it! Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now, really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it! Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, 
He'd hated home life anyway. Well, the little rabbit died. Well, that serves a little fucker right. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three raven scouts New reader, are chasing. Okay. <laughs> Where are you running, rebel? Cord the raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life! It cawed. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe. He could. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him, Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss as he felt the heat of the jet stream. The raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. Hmm. Alright. We can't We can't make old friends. Was it what anyone consider a game changer you can also? All right, let's go after him. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had what sold does the fox to choose? He did not exactly own. What does the fox Lepino say? Dang, But he was out of time. The ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. It's got long load screens. That's one thing I do not like about it. However, the gameplay is not too bad, guys. If, uh, it's a more of a hack and slash kind of Diablo game. Um, not made by Blizzard, obviously, but it's got a fairly decent sto storyline. If you if you want to break from the uh, the mega games that you're playing that are all you know open Lapino world and all this, managed to and you want the more of a arguing that he. Arcade stolen style. Of course. He'd only Since this is a side scroller, wait. It uh, where was the prison? It is definitely the worth it. I like it. Had had everybody fled the ravens? Renato wondered if it wasn't cheaper to build bridges and stairs. The ravens had taken the town. Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Renato's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Alright, that's what it is. I gotta 
recraft another sword. Just agree to disagree, said Renato. No? Everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Renata felt a little better. Well, I can honestly say that the uh, narrative, the play-by-play -play that you get as you're playing, is pretty decent as well, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. This usually, we get the shitty games that no one ever wants to buy, or no one you don't want to buy them. You don't want to, you know, people don't. If you buy them, they're cheaper and shit, like three dollars at the damn bargain bin at GameStop or something, but. This is not a really bad game for a side scroller, I guess you'd call it. It is not bad at all. He was ready to learn new things. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Uh, and it is addictive. If you've ever played, uh, oh, what the hell, Dust and Legion Tell. Yeah, this is what it reminds me of. So many games to play. Renato, Renato thought, was dead. Died. Well, there you go, guys. So not a bad game. I'm gonna go, so go ahead and give it a a solid B on this month. That is a good one. So we'll see you on the uh, the other game that we got for the PS Plus, and keep on gaming. <laughs>